Okay. So, trees in the Bible represent people. Many times, there are times where, you know, the Bible is full of symbolism. And to really understand it, you have to have the Spirit of God. Otherwise, you know, you can create your own understanding. and But it's not going to be the truth. So, when you come to know the truth and understand it, everything that you see in this world will make perfect sense. It will make sense. And... And you will notice, you will know, you will understand that we are at the end. You know, that Satan's kingdom has truly manifested. And so, in the garden, Satan deceived Eve. And she got pregnant and she bore Cain. Well, at the same time, she got pregnant with Adam's child and had Abel, cannibal, 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 cannibal. You see how there's a, a, there's a very similar word here? And that's just like how it is in this world. The evil spirits feed off of us. Satan and his demons, they feed off of us. God cursed that serpent and he said, you will go on your belly and you will eat dust for the rest of your life. And well, the dust he is talking about is the dirt that he created man from. The almighty God creator. He created man using dirt. Also, he said that serpent to eat dust. This is spiritual. It's B, okay? This is all spiritual talking. The Bible is a spiritual book. And that is something I spoke over myself all throughout my life. I've always said it. I use the word, I am a spiritual person. I don't know why I would even say that, you know. I, so I spoke those words over myself, over my life, throughout my whole entire life. I've always said that I was a spiritual person, a very spiritual person. Not realizing what that even means, <laughs> you know. I'm a believer and lover of Jesus Christ, yes. And so Cain ended up killing Abel. And, you know, his kingdom manifested, or his, you know, he had children and so on and so forth. But what happened in the garden is what you're seeing now, you know, that Satan's angels had sex with women. And that is, that, that is the original. And there is a commercial that came out. Why do you think, okay, so before I continue, why do you think Jesus says to be, to even make it into the kingdom of heaven, to go to heaven, to be with me, to be with the Father, you must be born again. He said, and to be born again doesn't mean to be literally coming out, you know, of a woman. It is a spiritual birth. That is why Jesus said you have to be, you know, you have to be born again. You have to be of the Spirit. You have to accept Jesus Christ. You have to believe the gospel. You have to believe that He is the Son of God who came and who died and who risen and who is alive. He is alive. He is not dead. God is not dead. He is alive and he is doing miracles. And so when you speak those words and you plant that seed within your body and you believe it with your heart you, and repent, 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 you know, 
you, you are saved. You're a child of God. You know, though you are in this world and you are of the flesh, you have the blood, the covering of the blood that Jesus Christ did on the cross. That God came down and he sacrificed himself for us so he can break that curse. He gave us a chance. That's why if you are not born again, you will not go to heaven. Because originally we are the seed of the serpent. But Jesus, he broke that, you know, he, he made a way. That's why the Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible says that he is the word. The Bible said that the word existed in the very beginning with Adam and Eve. The Word of God is Jesus. I said this in another video. Believe it. And then, and then, Jesus, um, the Bible says that He is the way, the truth, and the life. The life. In the beginning, there was a tree of life. Then, there was a tree of knowledge of good and evil trees represent people in the Bible the tree of life is Jesus then you have the tree of knowledge of good and evil that is Satan that is how that is why because Satan was that bright angel you know he was not no dumb angel you know he was one of the top angels that God created but and he was so full of so much knowledge that he exalted himself and didn't worship God. You know, like all the other angels, they sing praises unto the Lord Jesus, Yeshua. They sing, they, they would worship. Well, Satan didn't do that because he was so full of knowledge of good and evil and he knew it every like he felt like he knew it all he didn't feel that he needed to worship God he exalted himself above God so God gave me a revelation to a dream that I put out about Crystal Clay that she had about Donald Trump and it goes with exactly what Jonathan Cleck found out <laughs> I mean this is amazing so now we're living okay so now you know you, you get to understand that that Satan exalted himself and the Bible says that you know you shall die as men but you you shall be as gods but you shall die as a man so we shall be as gods but we are not God and we have to be born again to make it to heaven okay so what so John McClack he he puts this the answer the the, the whole mystery of that I mean God has given him the unworld scroll is what you know the words that he uses and I completely um, his ministry is, is totally led by the Spirit of God. He has God's hand upon it. So I was watching this video that he made and God at the same time I was asking for a word and God gave me a word. So I'm going to give this word to you. And But also before I do that, Adidas put a commercial out there this past week. Or it, I don't know. Um, so anyway, Adidas put this new commercial out, and it says the originals are never finished. And it's so very demonic and creepy and cryptic and just straight up weird. But that is the new normal. Because 
that is of the world. The world likes that weird, creepy, dark stuff because we are in a time of darkness. Those who have the, uh, those who are children of light, are like the good things, not the dark things. And you know, so th this commercial is just very creepy. But the song that they sang was "My Way" by Frank Sinatra. Did you know at the inauguration that Donald Trump danced with his wife to that song, My Way? I'm going to read you the lyrics to it. Think of Lucifer and what happened in the Garden of Eden. And now the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll state my case of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway. And more, much more than this, I did it my way. Regrets, I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway, and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Yes, there were times, I'm sure you knew, when I bit off more than I could chew. Cannibalism, cannibal. But through it all, when there was doubt, I ate it up and spit it out. I faced it all, and I stood tall and did it my way. I've loved, I've laughed and cried. I've had my fill, my share of losing. And now, as tears subside, I find it all so amusing. To think I did all that, and may I say, not in a shy way. Oh no, oh no, not me. I did it my way. For what is a man? What has he got? If not himself, then he has not. To say the things he truly feels, and not the words of one who kneels, the record shows I took the blows and did it my way. Yes, it was my way. That is creepy. <laughs> Can you not hear, do you not, are your eyes awake? Are you awake? Hello? Can you not understand? Can you not see what just happened? Is it a coincidence that this Adidas commercial, which is Adidas, is all day I dream about sex? What happened in the garden? Sex. And they created a race. And we are that race. But God, the Lord Jesus, gave us a chance, you know, to be born again, to make it into heaven. And so this commercial comes out. Donald Trump dances to the same song that this commercial is. And in this commercial, it shows the Garden of Eden. It shows the angel with the woman. It shows Eve. They're putting it in your face as if you're dumb and if you're stupid. And there are people that don't see it because the devil has blinded your eyes. And what more? I mean, it is so frustrating because people don't see the truth and the truth is right in your face. That Jesus is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And Jesus is coming back. Spirit.
So here is the word that as I just finished watching this video about Jonathan Clegg's utterance, which is about a nuclear devastation to New York, the U.S. Babylon will fall and it will rise again with the New World Order. But those who are children of God, ch children of light, they will not be here. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to take them home. He's going to take the babies home. He's going to take them to heaven. And He's going to protect them and keep them away from this judgment that is coming. It is a spiritual battle and a spiritual fight. No human can even understand it. It is between Satan and Yahweh. Jesus. Jesus is between God and the devil. And we, our body is just a host. We are just, we're just a body. And it is the spiritual fight happening. So I'm going to read to you this word that the Lord gave me just as I was finishing watching that video. So be very careful to follow everything Moses wrote in the book of instruction. Do not deviate from it, turning either to the right or to the left. Make sure you do not associate with the other people still remaining in the land. Do not even mention the names of their gods, much less swear by them or serve them or worship them. Rather, cling tightly to the Lord your God as you have done until now. For the Lord has driven out great and powerful nations for you, and no one has yet been able to defeat you. Each one of you will put to flight a thousand of the enemy, for the Lord your God fights for you, just as he promised. So be very careful to love the Lord your God. But if you turn away from him and cling to the customs of the survivors of these nations remaining among you, and if you intermarry with them, then know for certain that the Lord your God will no longer drive them out of your land. Instead, they will be a snare and a trap to you, a whip for your backs and thorny brambles in your eyes, and you will vanish from this good land the Lord your God has given you. Soon I will die, going the way of everything on earth, Deep in your hearts, you know that every promise of the Lord your God has come true. Not a single one has failed. But as surely as the Lord your God has given you the good things he promised, he will also bring disaster on you if you disobey him. He will completely destroy you from this good land he has given you. If you break the covenant of the Lord your God by worshiping and serving other gods, his anger will burn against you and you will quickly vanish from the good land he has given you. That was the word that I got just as I finished watching. Now expect everything. And in that video, in it, God reveals to Jonathan Clegg a confirmation of his promise of the utterance that he received because there was a, a lot of confusion of how you know don't when why how it how it happened you know because we're thinking you know well Obama's supposed to continue you know is it we're, like we're creating all of this stuff in our mind because we thought on what God showed us and you know and so God confirmed with him 
and then you gave me this word as I'm watching this video. Well, let me tell you about his gift. The Lord, you know, to understand the word of God, you have to flip everything upside down. You have to, to see the truth, you have to flip everything upside down because our original is backwards. We are, we are backwards, right? Because we're, if we're of, we're, if we're of darkness, you know, and then we're not, chi we're not children of God until we are born again. You know, we are not saved. We don't get our salvation until we are born again. So right now we're upside down. So to see the truth, we have to flip it. And so that's what Jonathan Cleck does. He can look at pictures and he flips it upside down and he'll show you things. When you notice that, when you see that in you, go to prayer and you seek the Lord on your own the Holy Spirit will do the same thing with you so I was in the store the other day and I was saw this weird looking t-shirts and I you know I figured that there was more well my son was with me you know and I like to you know Scotty he loves the Lord he loves Jesus and he looks up to me you know he knows that I protect him of you know of certain things he can't watch listen to certain things you know it, it's a, the devil and he respects that and you know he said that he wants to be a prayer warrior he wants to I mean he looks he really wants wants to be used in the kingdom for the Lord you know so we were in the store and I saw this uh, elephant t-shirt with these designs on them and I saw these these husks coming out of the the trunk well I knew that there was a picture there and I flipped it and I saw a dragon with the horns and I showed Scotty it I said look Scotty and I, and I showed him and I flipped it and he was like oh I see it he saw it you know he didn't have to like I don't see him mommy like you know he saw it he's a child of God he has a spirit the Holy Spirit and and so he started doing that all, all on his own and so he yesterday and I but see I didn't know that yesterday he was telling me of how he keeps seeing all these triangles and he, he there is this piece of paper he saw and he said he looked like that there was something there and he said he flipped it and he said that th there was this triangle and th this creature with horns. He said, like, he sees the horns and, and pyramids. He's seeing all this. I was like, wow, that's amazing that a nine-year-old understands the truth, you know, to see the truth. And then something happened. Something happened yesterday. I was playing with my son, you know, we're on the trampoline, and my oldest one, he is 12, Anthony. All of a sudden, you know, Anthony likes to act, okay? And all of a sudden, he did this. I'm Donald Trump! And he pretended like he was at, like, a podium. And he was doing something. And he looked at a ball, and he was like, money! Money, 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 money. And then he went, psh, psh, and he dropped dead. What? He did it again. I'm Donald Trump. Money, 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 money. Psh, psh. Drop dead again. So we did it like two or three times. I did not know what to think. It's very strange. I didn't know. I was like, I didn't think anything of it. But then I talked to a sister, and she said uh, that she really thinks that he was prophesying, that God was, and I know, you know, God uses children to relay messages. God has used Scotty many times and given him very prophetic messages. And, and utterances like Scotty would, he 
said some stuff a couple years ago and you know it's on YouTube and but I don't get to see my other son a whole lot so this kind of threw me off and I was like whoa that's crazy well I know there was a lot of rumors on YouTube and about Donald Trump getting assassinated getting shot like John F Kennedy so when he did that and he did it more than once that really shocked me I didn't know if the Lord was using him to give me a message or what so in case anything does happen or if anybody actually received anything from from the Lord I'm putting this out there of what my son acted out and did in front of me he could have done it when I wasn't there but the fact that he did it when I was there it just and I was even trying to talk to him about why you're pretending you're Donald Trump but it was as if he wasn't receiving what I was asking him like there was a spirit that was just like a message like was trying to be spoken it's very strange so I'm bringing putting this out there <clears throat> um, that's pretty much it you know we're, we don't know what tomorrow holds don't look to know that there's one more thing one more thing thank you Lord Jesus okay I told you about a dream about Crystal Clay's dream <clears throat> in the sky she said it was like it was kind of there was it was like cloudy darkness <clears throat> and she said that there was this big bright star fiery ball looking thing slowly like moving in the sky and she didn't know what that was about God gave me revelation do you know that the name of Trump means son of the spear ruler the spear ruler is Satan the spear ruler like a ball of fire the bright angel and then so it showed first it showed Donald Trump she said he was on the ground then it showed this ball of fire and then he was up up on another level with her as well Satan likes to exalt himself over God you know he likes to think that he is um, better than, than God so and then you have this ball of fire like a spear ruler like a spear I mean so and so Jonathan Clack was the one that figured that out that God showed him led him to do some research you know and so Trump means son of the spear ruler and then Crystal has this dream of Donald Trump speaking and there is a spear up in the sky slowly moving I mean I completely it makes sense do you not see this so if you are looking to Donald Trump as a savior to save you to save this country, you are wrong. And then there, when they say peace and safety, then comes total destruction. No, we don't know the day or time. We don't know the hour, but we know that it is approaching, and it can happen any minute, any any time. And Obama is involved. Don't think you're done <laughs> with seeing Obama. He plays a big, huge part in this. 
So seek the Lord on every word that you hear. Seek the Lord on every spirit that you come in contact with. You know, think of Donald Trump, the song he danced to with his inauguration was my way. Think of Lucifer. Do you not see it? Are you awake? It's crazy. And if you are alive, you're alive for a purpose, for a reason. God has you alive for a reason. And if you're not born again, repent and be born again. Choose Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And he is your protection. His blood is your protection. If you don't have the blood covering, you are not protected. And that's all. So, on everything that you hear, I pray that God gives you confirmation. I pray that He will peel back the scales and He will open your eyes to the truth. That you will just start doing things supernaturally on your own. That are that, that is the truth. I love you, and um, talk to you later. Be blessed in Jesus' name.